Biscuit Bow in the morning. Hello, Mr. Duhame. Debbie's dad is here. Looking good, buddy. Thanks for being here. Michael Duhame is here. This is great. We're going to touch on all the news just for you. we got a lot going on, uh, you know, about Mike Pompeo. Is he going to be confirmed? This, I have to tell you, and this next gentleman I'm going to bring on, one of my uh, longtime friends, a dear friend, handling this whole thing, Steve Adubato. This is prejudice against Italian-Americans that they're even thinking about not confirming Mike Pompeo as Secretary of State. It's an assault to Italian-Americans everywhere. First of all, it's great to be with you, <laughs> Joe and Al and Frank and Debbie. I'm going to play the Italian card. No, Italian I know card. exactly <laughs> what you're doing. You, you're setting me up. See, see, I have certain, not so much party affiliations, but, but ideological ideas that don't always mesh. Sometimes they do mesh with you. But sometimes they don't. You so what you? Man. I know I look good. You look good. My baby. wife said, "Why are you wearing a tie? You're on the radio." I said, "Because I'm with Joe and Frank and Alan. Wait, we wear isn't ties." Isn't that okay to do that though? Before uh, we get the news, isn't yeah, we'll it okay? do Pompeo in a second. Yeah, but isn't it okay to wear a tie? People go, well, "You're on the radio, wear a tie." People come in. It's out of respect. Yeah, I got Steve out of bottle with me. You big shot. I go. I, I, our friendship aside, I gotta wear a tie. I got John Bramnick here. You know, I got, I got all, all everybody. Phil Van Horn is. You wear a little tie. Is that when I went to Vegas? I went out. I went away. I wore a tie. Like, a, I looked like a dinosaur walking around. Everybody no. flip flops and shorts. No. Cut offs, huh? Let me tell you the way I look at it. So today, I'm moderating this Salem Business Breakfast with a great group of people yeah. talking about the keys to being a terrific Thank entrepreneurs. Thank you for being dealing with the, Oh, it's my honor. When, when Jerry Did you Crowley get a car? called. Did you get a car? You I got get a, a car. You got a car. You got a driver. Of course, I got a car. I got a, I got a, as my uncle used to say, God rest his soul, uh, you got a limo? You got a limo? I think you mean a limousine. So that being said, limo. Um, the limo picked me up. I had my tie. I was all dressed. But here's my point. Yes, sir. I'm hosting this breakfast this morning. Well, hosting the forum this yeah, morning. Yeah. I couldn't imagine, if we're talking about being a great entrepreneur, about building your brand, about bringing the best that you have to offer, I don't get how you do that. Hey, I got three or four buttons open. I got my chain. Now, I'm going to go the wrong way here. No, I see. But the reality is you dress appropriately because you bring your A game. And so I'm bringing my A game because this is the A team in the morning at AM 970, it, and that's it. D does it bother you, Steve, when you see somebody like James Comey? Po again, politics aside. I saw the shirt open on the what view. What was that? And the shirt open on Steve Colbert. He and did Colbert that way? He did Colbert that way, and, I, and, and he did uh, Stephanopoulos that way, I think, on ABC. Open collar. He was the head of the FBI. If you're going to talk, you know, you and me are Italian. We don't talk. This I don't understand. I do not understand how they talk. That's why with Pompeo, he knows he met with Kim Jong-un. Not a word. Not a word. And this is what's ticking so off So what are you center. trying to say? You're trying to say that, A, we as Italians, quote, keep secrets better than most. Thank you. B, we wear ties. We wear ties. When we don't wear gold chains. And we, we don't wear gold chains, but we have the gold chain underneath that nobody can see. I got it underneath. But, but, but. I got, look at, I, look at you me. Got it under, I got it underneath. You, got, you silver, get your St. Joseph's? You get your St. Joseph's, uh, you your Saint Joseph's medal, don't you? Look. What is it? <laughs> I got my St. Gerard medal. You got it? I'm not even going to. You know what St. Gerard Do you know what St. Gerard is? I, I do. He, he, the, for, the, for, the patron saint of? Of, of, of birth, of, of birth, of pregnancy. Is Women who have a hard time oh. having children, the patron saint Steve of Adubato, motherhood. Steve Adubato, legend of North New Jersey. Let me, let me tell you, if I may, when we went to uh, St. Lucie's. St. Lucie's Church? It's in North New Jersey, at the iconic St. Lucie's in North New Jersey. They were the only, they had a St. Gerard Mass. And I remember when Kimberly was pregnant, and we went there, and they had a handkerchief. They gave you a handkerchief that touched the statue, it's, it's, and we kept that, and she had that when she gave birth to each of my children. She kept St. Gerard close to her, and thank by the grace of God. I have not missed a St. Gerard feast at St. Lucy's Church in, quote-unquote, the old neighborhood in Newark, New Jersey, in the last 27 years. You know, the, the Adubato name in Newark, and everybody, you know, and everybody sees you on TV. By the way, this is just a show for me and Joe right now. No, no, no but i got to tell you, because what's great, what, what's great what your dad has done and your mom, you got to tell us about the North Ward Center. How, how was he, did he work with Ray Chambers? Did Ray Chambers and your dad come up with all this together? How did you, as Italian, uh, your family immigrants coming in here, learn to give back so much in North New Jersey? So here's a short version. And by the way, talking about being an entrepreneur, right, I'll make a connection. My dad, a school teacher in the public schools uh, in Newark, frustrated, not happy with his job. Um, loved the kids, didn't like the quote system. Yeah. Uh, my family came from Naples. You can appreciate yeah, that, Avalino. I love it, Avalino. I knew you were Provincio di Avalino. That's right. And 
long story short is my father wanted to make a difference. My father wanted to go outside the system and build something. And so in 1970, three years after the Newark riots, yes, yes. I'm a little kid in Newark. My, my dad's leaving his job, a <laughs> secure job with, I don't know, get paid every two weeks. We used to go to Rutz Hut on Route 3. Friday when he got his paycheck. I'm Who like, didn't? Who I, I'm saying, Ma, why is Dad quitting his job? Oh, because he's going to create a new organization. What? An organization? The only organization I knew I didn't want him to be a yeah. part of. <laughs> so I said, it's the, it was the Northward Cultural Center. It was for, quote, unquote, ethnic whites at the time who he felt were disenfranchised, disconnected, and pit basically young kids from our neighborhood who weren't going to college. They created a college program where they trained them, they helped them get scholarships, a senior citizen program, a daycare program. They created something called the North Ward Center. Forty plus years later, it's one of the most successful nonprofits. They build charter schools and they make a difference every day. And my younger sister, my baby sister Michelle, is the, in fact the CEO today. Saving lives, man. Saving That's what they do. Hey, Steve, and by the way, Ray Chambers put up some of the money. The great Ray Chambers, one of the uh, extraordinary philanthropists a mentor, that you're a mentor to, to us all, yeah. Mentor to both of us, put up a lot of the money to get it started. It is great. So how did you go? You you went, you were in the assembly in the So uh, in the mid-1980s, I'm 25 years old. I, wow. run for the, I run for the state legislature. Now, John Bramnick, my good friend, was just on before. Yeah. Yep. He's been there longer than I was there. Um, <laughs> in fact, I've seen shows canceled in one week on network television that were there longer than no, I was. No, you were there for, for a term. You, One term. Uh, I was, I was in at 25, Frank. Out at 26. Exactly. That's not a joke. That's like shtick. You're like out, Bradley, Tom. You're Bradley, out, the, Tom. The, the, you're out, Tom. We need, we need a... More time consigliere. I knew that. My district said, you're out, kid. We need a real adult. So um, I was out at 26, turning 27. I figured, what am I going to do? I go on and get my Ph.D. from the great Rutgers University, yeah, as I tell my children, in Ivy League school. Dr. Adubato, thank uh, you. Yes, Rutgers, uh, one of the great Ivies over with Princeton. So uh, that's a joke, Joe. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm looking. But well, you're so caught up in what you're doing. Right? I'm, I'm looking on the next thing. I said, I'm trying to check the news out I, there. One of the things I teach people about being a great entrepreneur, yeah, yeah, yeah. be in the moment, be yeah, in the presence. Yeah. Don't look at the next thing, Joe. <laughs> Don't go to the next thing. Stop looking at the technical issues going on. You Focus have to, on me. This, on this show, you have to be uh, so ahead of yourself. And, so, and, I'm, and I'm looking at you the You mean clock. like I see Bernie Carrick right there I, I, coming I'm, in? I'm, the commission's coming in, and I gotta, you got, you're going to get yourself ready. What time are you on stage? What time well, are you hold on, on I got to show respect. Do you have a ring I can kiss, Bernie? All right. Hi, Commissioner. How are you, buddy? What time are you going to be up there? I got to be up there at 8.02, it says on the agenda. 8.02 to 9.10. Yeah. We are going to have the most dynamic discussion about the keys to be. If you're an entrepreneur, you need advice, be here. Yeah. If you want to be an entrepreneur and stop what you're doing, you know, whatever, dead-end job, whatever, come here. If you don't have a job and you want to start a company, you have an idea, be here. Come to Passaic Community College. My good friend, is Steve Rose here, the president? I saw him walking around. Uh, yes, actually, yes. he is. It's going to be fabulous, and um, I'm proud to be here. And by the way, my book, Lessons in Leadership, I'm giving away free copies today, right? Good. And uh, listen, I'm, I'm working on a Was that a joke? It's not a joke. <laughs> right. right. Do I have free books right here? Well, I don't know if they're free. Uh, they are free. They're here. I, they're here. I'm working on a radio podcast called Lessons in Leadership. That's you never know where idea. it's going to wind up. That's a great idea. You, you have know. an idea where it could wind up? Yeah, come on up to the station. We, this, is the, this is where you want to be. This is where I want to be. You don't want Frank to be will be happy else. to produce it. He's, He's got, got enough worry, producing. You don't think Frank's yeah. producing enough shows right yeah, now? I know, I know, I know. I'm going to lose him again. I'm By the way, I came in. I'm so happy to see Al. You know what he said to me? I need you to have me on uh, your show on public television so I can plug my show. <laughs> the Good to see you, Al. Nice to see you, Steve. Debbie, you look... You are such a classy, smart, talented. I saw your dad before. You, Thank you. What a beautiful family. Thank Everybody's you, got their own. Thank you. Debbie's Did Debbie the best. ask you for any promotion for her? Debbie doesn't have to ask guests. me. Whatever yeah. she, I, I will give her whatever she needs or wants. <laughs> Thank you, Steve. Steve Adubato is going to be moderating this business breakfast. I guess I'll be jumping on in a little while. What time does that start technically? Eight o'clock or eight o'clock? By the way, I felt very special that I was on this morning. Then I realized I was on my way in. You saw some woman out there who was a fitness <laughs> expert. She <laughs> said, "Hey." What are you doing? And she said, well, I'm on my way to work. And you said, well, why don't you come on the radio? And I thought to myself, so I'm on. I'm a five-time author, four-time Emmy Award-winning winner. Steve, uh, Steve, uh, Steve, yeah. nobody cares. <laughs> yes, we Nobody do. cares. Yes, we we do. care about 
the the real listener. I had to put that gal out. She was the real listener. Well, I see some I guy go, over there wants to come on. Why don't so you yeah, have him up? That's the heart and soul of who we are. Uh, that that gal every day. Listen. That's the difference between you and me, Piscopo. Nobody on my cares. show, nobody, nobody cares. See, you got to go back to see every time I go to chat. Every time I go to chat. Chaz commentary. I go, Chaz, I start complaining about something or tell Chaz. He, go, he looks down. He's like six, seven or something. He goes, Joey. I go, Chaz. He goes, nobody cares, Joey. Nobody cares. And by the way, speaking of the great Chaz commentary, yeah, 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 yeah. Joe introduced me to Chaz commentary the year that you were inducted into the, it was the Hall of Fame. Yeah, I guess it was the Hall of Fame. Yes, he came down. He, he inducted came over. you. Yeah. I right. did a tremendous right. interview with the two of you. And somehow the tape that? got lost. Stop it. I'm not even joking. Chaz made a call? Chaz made one call. <laughs> the, the, the tape never nobody reappeared. Cares, and nobody cares, Joey. Nobody cares.